You said uh, earlier that the Browns should have been a running team with the, the great runners that they have. And uh, the, the score.com set up a, a list of the, the top running back groups uh, according to the score.com. Let's take a look at uh, what they have to say about the chances of the Cleveland Browns. They've got the Browns number two in the entire NFL. San Francisco is first, followed by the Browns, the uh, Ravens, Denver, and Minnesota. Yeah, the, the 49ers is, I mean, it's interesting. I know they have Tevin Coleman. I know they, they have Raheem Mostert, who, you know, was a Brown, you know, is a speedback guy. They traded Matt Breida, so they traded one of their really good running backs to the Dolphins. Um, it's tough to have a, a one-two combination like uh, Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. And, you know, again, they didn't have Hunt for the first eight games because of that suspension. And, and I was surprised at how good of a blocker and, and how good he did some of the little things other than run the football and catch the football. Uh, you know, he, he made a noticeable difference when he was in there. And we also heard from a lot of his ex-teammates what a good team player he was, and mm -hmm. that shows it exactly. Yeah. And, and you, you know, know the, the interesting thing is, is that offense is going to look, that run game is going to look a whole lot different because you now have a fullback as well. Don't forget, you know, they went out and, and got, you know, Andy Janovich, Pretty good fullback that they traded for um, because that is what the offense that Kevin Stefanski run dictates. That's going to make Nick Chubb and, and Krim Hunt when he's back there that much more effective. Well, Nick 